Avoid moving to Grand Rapids unless you can handle these 12 facts in 2022. Number 12 is gonna be the one you don't wanna miss out on and it's yeah. coming up right now. Thanks to doing sights to see, you are now watching Live Great TV, and I am your host to Living Great in Grand Rapids and the West Michigan area. My name is Vaughn Greathouse, and this is Adam with Lake State Mortgage. Adam Bergsma. Hey, if you want to know more about the Grand Rapids area and you want to know what it's like to live, work, and have fun in West Michigan, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on all the brand new videos that we're going to be putting out each and every week because honestly I love making these videos but even mm -hmm. more than that as a licensed real estate agent in the state of Michigan I love helping you guys make that move over to the city and with that being said that name and that email coming across your screen right now is my direct contact info so if you have any questions or concerns you just want to know more about the Grand Rapids area Feel free to contact me anytime. And yes, I'm the one who answers the phone and yeah. Adam answers the phone. So yeah. with that being said, let's get into the video. All right, we're back. And we wanna go into the 12 facts that you must know before you come to the Grand Rapids area. Yep. I'm here with Adam. And we sat down and actually went over some of the things that we really wanted to let you guys know as far as making that move over, what to look out for, what things you should look forward to. And we wanted to put those all together so you have a good heads up and that way you're well prepared. So with number one, Adam, what do you want to start us off with? What was your number one as far as coming on out here? I think with Michigan, an obvious one and a big one is we do have all four seasons. We get all four of them very easily. Yeah. And uh, winter is actually a big one in our state. Yeah. So a lot of times when it comes to the winter time, that's yeah. one of the main things that people think about. You think of like moving up north or Minnesota mm -hmm. or Canada or things yeah. like that when they're coming to Michigan. Yep. And the snow is a really big deal. So knowing the four seasons, we have beautiful falls. Like we have mm -hmm. some of the most gorgeous falls I've ever seen. Sometimes we'll go down by the lake and we'll take, yeah. we'll just drive through the leaves just to see the sit, like see the sights, yeah. see some of the, we go out to some of the vineyards up north and it's just a lot of that yeah. naturistic things to do in the fall, get the pumpkin patches and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Very pretty up north with the trees, changing colors. Mm -hmm. You definitely get all that. And then into the springtime too, you definitely get a nice ease into out of the cold and into the hot summers. hot summers. And they do get hot. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Believe it or not, Michigan does get warm <laughs> yeah. in the summertime. It only lasts three months, but <laughs> but at the same time, it's very, very awesome. Like some of the best boating, yep. hands down, some of the best boating, like that people just anchor their boat, uh, Lake Michigan, or they'll anchor the boat at some of the local lakes here and just have a ton of fun. Mm -hmm. Get the noodles out and slap each other and whatnot. It's one of the highlights of coming out to Michigan, being in Michigan during the summertime. If you know, you know. So I definitely wanted to point that out. Number two is going to be Grand Rapids is an up and coming city. Mm -hmm. So knowing that there's a lot of up and coming buildings, there's a lot of apartment buildings, new businesses, new developments, mm -hmm. job opportunities. So yeah. as far as being in a place where you can actually build a good career, I've talked about mm -hmm. this in some of my other videos, knowing that those opportunities are here yeah. just helps you build up a lifestyle that you really, really will enjoy. So knowing that the Grand Rapids area is an up and coming city mm -hmm. that a lot of people are gravitating towards, be it the art, be it the food, be it the tech, everything that's going on in the area is really one of those things where you, it's kind of like a breath of fresh air as you're coming out to the area. Yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. A lot of job opportunities, a lot of big companies, you know, putting factories in here, which leads us to the next one too, which is competitive workforce, Yeah. right? Yes, it is. Because although there are a lot of job opportunities here, it also pulls in a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So it is a competitive workforce. It is a very good place to be able to find a job, especially in the medical field. Yeah, medical field. I mean, and that's another thing is, you know, believe it or not, one, once upon a time, I thought about being a nurse a long time ago, but as I got into it, I was just like, man, there's a lot of people in this industry 
and they're actually one of the best hospitals in the nation. Uh, DeVos Hospital is is very well known. Um, mm -hmm. They're just a big a big name in the medical world. So I don't know a ton about it, but yeah. I do know that they are a very prestigious company in regards to the medical field. So a lot of people come to compete for those jobs. St. Mary's is out here, yeah, yeah. Mercy Hospital, yeah. uh, Metro Hospital. There's a lot of that going on as far as that, but you know, medical yeah. specific. Yeah, we're so big in the medical field. We have a strip of the highway called Medical Mile. Yeah, Medical which Mile. All the hospitals lined up right in a row. Yep. <laughs> so. Michigan Street is is pretty busy, so you'll get to see some of that throughout some of the videos, seeing Michigan Street, seeing some of the cool architecture and whatnot. A lot of innovation you know, goes on in this area as well. Yeah. So yeah. that's something to really look forward to as you're coming out. Just make sure you bring your A game and you make those resumes nice and tight, you know, get them all, you know, pretty and whatnot. So mm -hmm. when you're coming to get the job of your dreams, you're good to go, so exactly. yeah. Number four, oh, this is a good one. Number four, what is it? If you do not enjoy water or lake life, so true. then you don't wanna be here. Wanna because be here. this state has a lot of lakes, and we're not just talking about the big one, Lake Michigan. That's obviously a fun one. People yeah. love to go on that one and boat. But there are a lot of small inland lakes as well that people either live on or have cottages on. And just having the lake life and the boating, tubing, wakeboarding, fishing, there's a lot to do on the water, yeah, especially right. in the summertime when people are out. If you're thinking of coming to Michigan, if you look at the map, I think Michigan's cool because you can make the yeah. map of Michigan on your hand. Where are we at? And we're surrounded by five lakes, so there's water everywhere. So it's very unlikely that you'll meet somebody who doesn't have some sort of affiliation mm -hmm. with boating or want to be by the water. Yeah. There's a lot of great opportunity for lake houses. People always want to be near the water when it comes out here. Just something like very tranquil, very yes. peaceful about being close to the water. And let me tell you this really quick. The sunsets that we get over the water is absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. So if it's a summer day and you, you, you know, go out to the beach with your significant other and you yeah. just watch the sunset, it's there's nothing like it. And, being a half hour away from it, you know, pretty much any given area in West Michigan, unless you're on the lakeshore anyways, mm -hmm. of Grand Rapids, you can go see those sunsets before, you know, you could say seven o'clock, yeah. you wanna go over there. Oh, the sun's setting at eight, let's mm -hmm. go. Yeah, yep. so that's a really cool thing. Being near the water, kinda of went off on a tangent, but right. that's a really cool thing. All right, number five is going to be that as a Michigander, the average person has to have a winter coat. Yes. You have to. It literally does get cold here yes. a lot of the time. <laughs> so if you don't have a winter coat, you will not survive. You will not survive. <laughs> we will definitely get a charity going to get you yeah. a coat. You make sure you're warm yeah. when you're out here, worst yeah. case scenario. We just had some uh, friends of ours move over from Nevada. Mm -hmm. And did they have a coat? Do you know? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, they're gonna get my one. wife's from California. She didn't have one. Either. Yeah, see, <laughs> we gotta make sure that she gets a winter coat. Yep. She, doesn't, she has not. She, she, has, does, she has she has now. She has now. Yeah, now. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, make sure you have a winter coat. Let's just say, on an average day, you're probably looking in the winter time. You're probably looking at around 30 degrees, give yeah. or take. Yeah. You're gonna be around 30 degrees from what would you say, mid December to March. March, April, somewhere yeah. in there, then yeah. it's, the weather starts to break, yeah. but yeah. that's a long time to be cold. So yeah. make sure you have a winter coat. Mm -hmm. How do you want to present this one? <laughs> <laughs> do not move to Grand Rapids if you cannot handle the fact that marijuana is legal. Number legal. six. Number, Number six. six. So yeah. I'm not a smoker, but I've heard, you know, it's no. very, very prominent in the area knowing that you can get marijuana on pretty much any corner any corner you yeah. want. Um, it's something that has taken off. I, I think there's only a handful of states in the United States who are actually legalized. Yeah, I think uh, so. Colorado, California, Michigan. That's really all I know. I don't know anymore. Yeah. Um, but knowing that, if you can't handle that, that weed smoke or you don't yeah. want to be anywhere around it, of course, if you really like Michigan, I'll tell you exactly where there's the least amount of that. Obviously not everybody does it, but at the same time, knowing that it's here and knowing that it's something you may run into, I wouldn't say I run into it everywhere no. you know, all the time. But You see it, a dispensary just like you see a liquor store. Yeah. But that's about it. Yeah. And that's just kind of our heads up as far as that goes. All right, next one. Number seven. Number seven. Avoid moving to Michigan if you love long distance traveling. 
because everything over here is a stone throw away. <laughs> it's, you it's, can get yeah. pretty much anywhere in an hour. Maximum. Yeah, that's like going across the state. Yeah. Almost, so. so you get to Lansing in an hour. Yeah. We're, Lansing's in the middle. We're over here on the west side. So yeah. literally in, in regards to getting around the Grand Rapids area, yeah. everything is really close. So if mm -hmm. you like long distance driving and you travel to work like an hour or two, yeah. which we do have some people who work sure. in Holland and then they'll travel like to Rockford or they'll come sure. to Grand Rapids, but yeah. that's only like a half hour. That's still 40 minutes max. Yeah, maximum, like yeah. with traffic. So right. the thing about the Grand Rapids area that I love so much is that literally fit, if you, plan on 15 minutes, you have to be somewhere, give yourself 20, but if you have 15 minutes, you're mm -hmm. literally wherever you want to be in Grand Rapids. So that's yeah. something to really look out for. Be on the south side, get to the north side, 15 mm -hmm. minutes. Easy. Yeah. And the other cool part about the Grand Rapids area, as far as its geographical location, is that we're sitting right in between, almost right in the middle of Detroit, and Chicago. So literally, if you want to leave Grand Rapids for the weekend and go to Chicago, it's about two to three hours away. And the yeah, same goes for Detroit, you know, mm -hmm. give or take, yeah. you know, with traffic and whatnot. Yep. So yep. that's something to really look forward to. So driving long distance is not a thing. Some people still complain about it. Yeah. But hey, <laughs> you can pretty much get anywhere. But the other fun part about Michigan specifically is our left hand turns. <laughs> We don't have left-hand turns. We do, but not a lot. Not Usually a lot. you go through the light and then you gotta do the whoopty. Yeah. So if that bugs the crap out of you, don't come don't here. Don't come here. <laughs> it definitely serves its purpose as Absolutely. you're driving around. However, you know, I, I don't really, cause I do get to travel quite a bit and I don't yes. see that, I don't see it in many other places. No, me neither, but I don't, I don't even mind it. Yeah, it, I don't even know. Maybe it's cause I grew up here, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But, Michigan, you got those left-hand turns, so look out for those as well. All right, we're at number eight out of 12. Number eight fact is that we have low property taxes. Cha-ching! Cha -ching. Yeah, so if you're interested in a place where you don't have to spend a ton on property taxes, yeah. you don't want to break the bank as far as what your mortgage is and whatnot, yep. being in the West Michigan area, depending on your location, is going to give you the best bang for your buck. You mm -hmm. get a lot of land in the area as far as some of the home sizes and even lake frontage, like everything about it, mm -hmm. it you, you find the right place because people always contact me and they say, where in Grand Rapids should I be living at? Like what part of town should I move to? Right. And there's a little bit of everywhere for everyone depending on your lifestyle. But knowing that you can move somewhere and not have to pay a ton in property taxes, mm -hmm. if that's a major concern for you, please feel free to reach out. I'll give you the specifics on each and every area. But low property taxes is one of the things that you yep. can look forward to. And, you know, it's kind of helpful as you're coming out here. Yeah, who doesn't like a lower payment? I mean, who yeah. likes money in their pocket? Yeah. <laughs> not me. <laughs> <laughs> who? Who? Me? Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Right. Avoid moving to Grand Rapids, Michigan if you hate nature 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 it's we everywhere. have a lot of nature we kind of talked about it earlier yeah. going up north in the fall yeah and the leaves but we have nature preserves nature parks riverside park mm -hmm. lookout parks lakes Bell Nap, millennium park is really cool hiking trails biking trails yeah. so a lot of people who are out here are very big like a lot of people go up north yeah they want to see the vineyards they want to walk the vineyards they want to shoot and hunt mm -hmm. we have so many hunters here so if hunting is your thing get your butt over to michigan because you're absolutely going to love it it's like a, lots of woods yeah lots it's like a nature nature man's paradise <laughs> yeah, out here. Yeah, yeah. another great thing is that people who like to fish and boat and kayak and if you genuinely like doing those outdoorsy things this is gonna be the place to be as far as that nature scene, knowing exactly when you come out here, you can kind of get the tent, you can get the canteen out, mm -hmm. do a bonfire, sing Kumbaya. Yeah, lots of camping doing. sites too, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Absolutely, it's absolutely awesome. We've even camped on the beach before, on Lake Michigan. On Lake Michigan. Yeah. You have to, but this is the other thing, when you want to when you want to do that, you have to do it like a year in advance. Like to get to some of the, the mm -hmm. hot spots, yeah. you gotta do it like a year in advance. Yeah. So that's a heads up. Yep. All right, number 10. We're number almost 10. there, stay tuned. Let's do it. If you don't like beer, specifically beer, not just alcohol, then don't come to Michigan because we have a lot of breweries. Over 80 breweries 
right in Grand Rapids. We are Beer City, yep. USA. Yep. Yep. So if you want to get drunk, you know, just be responsible, okay? Drink responsibly. Re drink responsibly. That's our disclosure. This is the little disclaimer. <laughs> Put that up there for you. So, yeah, knowing that you have all these breweries, obviously, being a beer person, finding people who have that in common is this is just the place to do it. There's art, there's beer, mm -hmm. there's medical, there's tech, there's design. There's a lot of really great things about the Grand Rapids area. If you yeah. don't like beer, you're not gonna wanna be here because it's literally everywhere. You can smell the hops in the air when, yeah. you, when you walk down. People are literally walking on the streets with it too because they just started doing that downtown. Oh yeah, the you, social zones. The social zones, you, social you can zones. talk, you can walk around, you get a drink from you know a local brewery, Founders, New Holland, mm -hmm and you get a special glass in your social zone and you can walk around in that social zone downtown with mm -hmm. your drink. Just like in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. just do what you want. Yeah. Now, obviously be responsible with that too. So, we, you know, we're, we're telling you here first, so. But it um, is a lot of fun and it is really, really cool. Yeah. And to be able to try all the different breweries yeah. and beers out there. I mean, there's everything from lights to the heaviest, yep. you know, heaviest, drink. darkest beer you can find. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Great places are going to be Founders Brewing Company. Mm -hmm. Where else? New Holland Brewery. New Holland Brewing Company. Brewery Vivant is also a really big one. Atwater Brewery yep. is also a really, really big one. Grand Rapids um, Brewing Company. Yep. Grand Rapids Brewing Company. Perrin Brewing Company is mm -hmm. also a really big name out here. Knowing you can go to these places, get great beer. It's really a highlight, and you could literally go every weekend to a different brewery and get to enjoy beer city as you're coming out. All right, number 11. One, one. One, one. One, one. 11. Okay, here we go. Avoid Grand Rapids if you can't handle rain or flooding. Let me tell you about the springs. We talked about the fall. Yeah. We talked about the winter. We talked about the summer. Let me tell you about the spring. We get a lot of rain when it comes out. Mm -hmm. So it, as we're transitioning from winter over into spring, we get a lot of rain and it seems like even the streets get flooded. So knowing that mm -hmm. those wa the water out here, it's not a bad thing. It's not like a huge deal, but yeah. it does happen yeah. that we get rain. And sometimes a house might flood, it's depending mm -hmm. on how old it is. So making sure you're doing the due diligence, yeah. knowing about those areas. Some people have flood insurance and yeah. that stuff ain't cheap. So you'll, yeah, oh <laughs> you'll know if you're in a flood zone when you buy the house because <laughs> your flood insurance is through the roof. Yeah. So but yeah. it's very unlikely. It, it's just very certain areas, but yeah. April showers do bring May flowers, flowers here. So yeah. it, April does get hit with a lot of water, yeah. especially if you live on water or on a river, okay. th then you're more likely to be able to get that flood. But if you're inland, you wouldn't really have to worry about it. It shouldn't be anything that scares you, mm -hmm. but it does happen. Yeah, and it's very short lived. So you're probably looking at month and a half, two months. Yeah, max. Uh, but when it rains, you get those gray skies, it rains and it's just pouring all day. So mm -hmm. <laughs> nice going back to sleep weather. Yeah. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, should we tell them? He's telling him. I don't know if I'm gonna tell him. Probably tell him. Okay. All right. Number 12 is going to be the high rental prices. Yes. Now, yes. this is something that I can't wait to dig into because I get texts and calls and emails and messages and stuff from people all the time on the channel. I love it. Specifically, I mostly deal with the, the sale of the homes, but some mm -hmm. people want to know about rentals. So let me tell you about the rental market here. The rental market is specifically high in, in the downtown area. As you go outside of the area, you're gonna see uh, places like Wyoming, yes. places like Sparta, places like you got uh, Kentwood. North Kentwood, you got Wyoming, Northeast side. So you have mm -hmm. different parts of town that actually have lesser rents that are more affordable, mm -hmm. close to the national average. I did a recent video where I did the talk about the Grand Rapids cost of living and the mm -hmm. average two bedroom 860 square foot home was around $1,238. Now that's give or take depending on the location. Mm -hmm. So knowing that the rent we're a little higher, we're probably about five or 10% higher than the national average, which came out to be 1,124. Uh, for the national average, and I have Statista, which is a link that I'll put in the description so you guys can look at that. Um, in comparison to that, we're a little higher. Mm -hmm. So getting the perfect place, finding a place that's fitting and suitable, especially if you're not ready to buy when you move out here, right? you definitely want to take heed of those, understand exactly what locations are gonna yeah. best suit you, so. There's nothing wrong with renting either in the short term. Yeah. Yep, especially even if you move here and we are a little bit higher than the 
national average. Yeah. Right? If you find a place that's a little bit cheaper outside the city, like you said, mm -hmm. anything in the short term is is a great idea for, especially when moving, you know, from a far away distance. Yeah. Especially when you're moving to a new city as well. One tip that I'll give is also when people are transitioning. Look at some of the Airbnbs because some people want those extended stays and they're willing to drop their prices. Mm -hmm. If you're only going to be a couple months to stay in like a rental there, it may end up being more cost effective as you're getting used to the city. You know, maybe get a house, rent out a house and yeah. you can put stuff in the garage and things like that. So right. that's a really big deal when it comes to people moving to the area. And when it comes to purchasing a home, no better person to talk to than this guy. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, one tip I would say is once you do get out here and if you are renting and you're paying that 12, 1300 bucks a month in rent, you know, that, that's totally fine. But you can own a nice house for 12, 1300 bucks a month yeah. and you can pay yourself and put that money back in your pocket. Yeah, so when it comes to investing, when it comes to actually making financial decisions, I go to Adam for a lot of things. He's one of my go to people that I just depend on um, to help navigate through this you know, financial process. Mm. So that way it's easier to make those decisions based on those locations. Affordability is a big deal. So we look into that quite a bit. I'm so glad to get these out to you guys. There's 12 things that you, you gotta, you gotta be able to handle these 12 things yeah. if you want to move to Grand Rapids. If not, you might want to move on to the next city, <laughs> but you had a heads up from us first. I'm so excited to get this information out to you, Adam. Yeah. I'm gonna put Adam's information in the link below. I'll also make it come across the screen right now. Boom. So you can get a hold of Adam as well. So as you're preparing, hey Adam, what do I gotta do to get ready? You know, what are some of the things? He has a checklist that he yep. can give you guys and be able to help you as you're transitioning. If you know better, you'll do better. So that's why we're doing this for you. So absolutely. With that being said, those are the 12 facts you must be able to handle when you're moving to Grand Rapids. Again, for things to do and sights to see, you're watching Live Great TV, and I'm your official host to Live in Great in Grand Rapids and the West Michigan area. My name's Vaughn Greathouse. And I'm Adam Berksma. Like I said, if you want to know more about the Grand Rapids area and what it's like to live, work, and have fun in West Michigan, hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on all the brand new videos that I'll be putting out each and every week because honestly, I love making these videos. But even more than that, as a licensed real estate agent, as a licensed mortgage officer in the West Michigan area, we love helping you make that yeah. move out to the West Michigan area. Yeah. So that name and email coming across your screen right now is my direct contact info. And yes, like I said, I do answer those calls. So with that being said, we will see you on the next video. Thanks guys. Peace.